Hi, in today's video, we are going to replace the batteries on a Pentax NICAD Battery Pack LX. These have NICAD batteries, but we're going to replace them with nickel metal hydride cells. Um, we also have some screwdrivers, soldering gun, soldering iron with uh, some flux core solder for uh, putting the batteries together. I've got these heat shrink tubes to cover the cells to make the new cells. And what that is. And other tools in case I need in case I need a screwdriver or something. The process will be we'll first um, combine three of these cells. These are tabbed. Let me uh, get one of these out. have tabs on them. So we'll solder three together to make a double A cell. <clears throat> we're going to make four double A cells and then we're going to disassemble the unit, solder the cells back in, maybe clean it a little bit if it's if it's doable, if it's not too messy, um, and then put it back together and test it. All right. Okay, I've put the four cells together. So you can see if I can pull this out. I've soldered them together end to end. I have the heat shrink tubing. Next I will <coughs> excuse me. Use my heat gun. Alright. Noisy but effective. So there we go, there's our cells. These are gonna go in here. So my next moves open up the case, take out the old cells, put in the new cells, close the case. I'll probably um, do, do the disassembly first, show you the mess inside, because there's, there's this uh, black foam that uh, breaks down and turns into sludge. I, I clean some of it, sometimes I don't clean all of it. It's, it's, I don't know that it's worth the effort, and, and you end up potentially doing more damage than good. So. Um, Let's, let's take a look. I'll, let me get it apart. Let me get positioned for that. All right, let's get right at it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the top plate. Well, we have six screws here. I don't remember if I need to do this or not. We'll, we'll see. Oh. I did it last time, I, I don't remember if I actually needed to do this, but I have done this several times um, with a um, battery pack M and one LX, so I've done it twice. For the M, the batteries are not in um, this form. For the battery pack M, there's a, a two-thirds cell and then a four-thirds cell. So together, it's still it's still that many cells, but it's like two go in one compartment, four go in the other. So you have to put them together differently. But it's the same it's the same twelve batteries. Got them all. Pop the top. There's that. Over here is just the uh, locking screw. Note. There's a washer there. Don't lose it. It actually makes a difference. Let's see. Did I have to take... What did I have to take apart? Oh, also, be very careful of these little spring-loaded pieces right here. Okay? They could pop out, but they didn't for me before. So before I go there, let me do this. Let me um, take off the leatherette. I'm using a, this is a um, watch back tool to take a back off a watch. Um, comes in handy for a lot of things. This comes off pretty easy. It's still pretty sticky, so it'll go back on nicely. Okay, that's that, and then the rest is going to be top screws. Uh, let's see, I think, this, I think this one's the better screwdriver. I can't remember which ones I had to take off here. Uh, Man. 
this particular screwdriver, the rubber piece on it is getting worn out. I need a new set. The long ones are usually the correct ones. If you got long ones, they are the correct ones. Uh, I can put them still over here. Yeah, this rubber piece here is doesn't grip anymore because it's all chewed up inside. It's getting old. I believe these screws actually screw into a metal piece at the bottom, but usually the metal pieces. Um, positioned inside of a plastic collar so it potentially can still break. Okay. I'm not sure if that's just these four screws. I don't think so. I think I need to move some of those, although that sounds that seems crazy to, to have all those there for that reason. But you never know. I can't remember. Usually you have to take off more screws than you expect most of the time. Yeah, it's loosening up, but there's more to it. All right, let's try the end. Let's try the two end ones first. Okay. That would make sense, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Should be all the screws it needs to. Uh... I'm using my hemostats to, to get a little twist on the screw. Okay. These aren't magnetic. These screwdrivers, I have some that are. Um, for screws this big, you don't really need it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a long screw, but it's not the same size screw as these. So note that, okay? These are smaller screws than these, which makes sense because they're 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 set down, okay? So they're they're reaching the same base. They're just starting from different height. Oh yeah. Should just change one of the other colors. What the hell's the difference, right? Of the screwdrivers, the ones I don't use. <laughs> okay, there's there's those two. Let's put these. I will remember the short ones go inside. Let's see, is that it? Yep. Uh, maybe not. There might be more. Let's see. No, that's it. All right, here we go. The unveiling. So here are the original cells. Notice they're a little bigger. As a matter of fact, I think this was rebuilt because I've seen um, other cells that don't look like this and these look like the Sanyo cells that they used to get. And a matter of fact, the foam has been cleaned up. So this is this is actually a rebuild, a second rebuild. So I mean, yeah, as a matter of fact, there's not even foam in there. Oh, do I have to take this off? Yes, I do. Sorry, I missed one thing. There's three screws. Yeah, do I need all three? Yes, I need all three. Guess what? You need all you need all these screws off. And I'll tell you why in a second. It's easier if I put this back together for now. Take the screws off. Okay, now note to self, all screws. These three hold that tripod socket in place, and it, you could get around it, but um, there's wires that go underneath it, and it's better to remove it. I'm sorry you can't see my finger underneath here, but I'm just unscrewing screws. Okay. As I recall, these are a pain in the ass to put back on. Okay. I'm not sure if these are the same. Yeah, this is magnetic. 
Let's just put these here for now. It's good pile, good habit to get your screws in, in little boxes and keep track of what goes where. Um, come up with a method or a system. Okay, there's the there's the tripod socket which uh, screws into those three from the other side. And you'll see there's wires in between there. And you can see the cells are, are brutal. There's uh, corrosion on the cells. So I will lift these up. So someone's already cleaned this out. What you This foam is not great, but it's dry anyway. I'm not going to mess with it because it's good enough. Um, if it's loose, I might put my own piece of foam on the other side just to press the, the batteries down. But I'm going to leave it in place. You're going to basically make sure you keep track of... Oops, did I just move? How far did I just move? Okay. Uh, oh, these are weird. Okay, this is a little different than the one I did previously. But, before you unsolder anything, pay attention to what you're looking at here. So, if you see this, this is obviously the the top of the battery. That's this side, that's that side. So this, I'm going to put a cell here, and the other side I'm going to solder them together. So two cells are going to be like, uh, I'll, I'll put that together quickly here. Uh, top, bottom, like this. Actually, I want these touching, unfortunately. So I'm going to put these, I'm going to put these two together on this side. That's going to go in here. And these will be the leads for the wires, okay? Um, that's one. The other side, let's take a look how bad that is. Probably the same thing. Yeah, it is. So that wire goes to that wire. So you really see, see these are in series. It comes into this battery, to this battery, to this battery, and back out that one. There, so it's, that's why you're getting 14.4 volts or whatever. Um, so what sh where shall I start? Let's start by putting these two cells together. <clears throat> All right. Of course, I got the solder in the wrong place, but uh, it should, should, should still come together. Make sure you're, you're correct. Yes, I am correct. So it'd be good if I got solder on this side, you know, what I need is some solder on the other side of this one. Okay. See, there's a white ring in there. That's the top. And there's not one on the other side, so that's that. And let me get both of these. If I laid this out on paper right now and then came back to it later, I'd have documentation on how to do this, but then I would have put solder in the right positions. put these together. All right, those are together. Oh, they're still hot. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of, uh, let's see. Gonna kind of squish them down like that, okay? There's one set of cells. Because these are smaller and have higher capacity, um, they're gonna fit in here easily. As a matter of fact, as I said, I may need to uh, put some extra padding in. I've got some foam I can cut.
also tell tell you're correct because if you look at the batteries, these are the these are the ridges for the front of the bat top of the battery, and the ridges are down here, so they should be opposite. Obviously, it's like uh, you know plus and minus opposite directions. All right. I got way too much solder on the back side of this, so I think I'm gonna hopefully pull some off. Yep, good, I pulled some off. Oh, it's gonna be hot. Give me let me give it a second. Those are together, and these are together. So there we go. We got our batteries ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do, let's do uh, the back ones first. Okay, we're gonna pay attention to what we're doing here. This is the, is the plus or the minus, I guess it's the minus. So this is the minus, and it's that one. So that's gonna go like this. Drop some solder in there. Luckily, it was on plastic. What I need is a tool, actually. One of the important things to do is not to screw up the wiring because if you start breaking wires and have to replace wires, it just complicates the, the matter. Um, there we go. There's one wire off. That's going on to this one. So I'm gonna actually no, I, I'll wait till I do them both off. One's red, one's black. Okay. Okay, there's the red one off. That sells out. That's the way it was. That one's connected. I don't need the bite. I don't need the base right there. Okay, get the red one on. Don't melt any wires. Get the black one out of the way. Okay, here we go. Oh, that didn't stick. Because I did the wrong side, didn't I? There was some solder there though, should have stayed. So we got black and black. That's the front. That one goes there. That one goes there. Yeah, this is definitely a rebuild. I recognize these these uh I think these are Sanyo, Sanyo batteries. Come on. So much corrosion in there. Shit. There we go. I 
I could just cut the wire, but I want to reuse the solder leads. There we go. Jesus Christ. Before I solder that. Clean it up a little bit. That's good. Okay. Remember where that one goes. Ooh, that's hot. That goes on this side. This one goes on that side. Hope I'm still in camera view. Yep, I still am. Okay, there's that. Those go in the recycle garbage. Maybe. Okay, that one went to that one. Yes, it does. The only way to know is that's the um, there's the ridges for the front, they should be going the same direction because they're in line, okay? Goes like this and back that way. So, this one is going to this wire. this thing my arm just keeps hitting into. Alright, last wire. See if you got some something you can clamp these things to. There we go. Okay, is that good? Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. way. Now I want to shove the wires back in. So that little tab there looks good that way. And let's put this wire down in there. This is the wire that's going between the tripod socket. Basically, make sure there's no wire. See these little plastic ridges and stuff? Make sure there's no wire on, on one of them. There's a channel there. Make sure the wires are down into the channel because otherwise it could get crimped. I'm not sure if there's... Yeah, there's plastic on the other side that may press into this. So there we go. Our cells are in here. Uh, how tight are they?
there's a little channel this goes into over here. The button. It could come right out. I don't, I'm trying to keep it taking taking things apart as much as possible. There we go. Is it in? No. So you gotta make sure there's clearance there. Let's try doing it this way. I'm pushing into these right here. I know they'll fit. Just kind of, kind of squeeze them a little bit. These are actually they might be the same length, but they're a little shorter or a little uh, thinner. Those are actually fatter than double A. There we go. There we go. Ah. That one, the shrink tubing is actually a little too long there. It's causing me problems. stupid because I just put this together and I forgot to put the tripod socket <laughs> back in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Practice. It's practice, right? Oh, shit. They're all out the wrong side. Come on. All right. Put the wires back in. Tripod socket. There are three holes. They're in line, these three. I don't think it matters which way it goes. You can change it if you want. So, so let's try the center one first. Hey, shit. There goes the battery. Hopefully, that, I didn't break the solder joints. second one in position and then I can screw the other ones down. Perfect. I'll tighten them up a little better later. Okay, 
now we're back together and the tripod socket the tripod uh, mount is holding the the wires in position there make sure that's under there get that lined up at the top and one of the things I'm going to do I'm going to do is lift this to make sure it's going going in the channel yes it is ah now it is okay it's back together does it work? We shall see. Two shorter screws. Let's get these screws here. I was going to do this in multiple segments, but once you get the batteries put together, it's kind of a continuous motion here. All right, that's a short one. And that's a short one. Let me do that, you know? This one's shot. Use that one. It's one that I never use. Yeah, of course it's difficult to take off because it's never been used. All right, that might help. down. Let's back this one off. Click. Back down. That goes there. Probably a good idea to turn this off. I got an Alex motor, but I don't have an Alex camera. Um, but I'll I can pop one. Of the, I can pop this on my K2 DMD MD motor and uh, show it that it works. If it's charge, it'll have some charge on it. The batteries come with a partial charge. Uh, they'll definitely need an overnight charge though once you put them together. Hopefully, I didn't break any solder joint in the process. Ah, uh, uh, shoot. Three washers there. Without these washers, uh, it's not very smooth to, to tighten it up. With the washers, it seems to work better. I guess that's why I put them there.
Okay, that's that. And the, the rich Corinthian leather. Put that back on. too no it's good is it in the edge yes it is I can tweak it later and let's go a little bit let's now we're good all right rebuilt can't test anything like this so our next step is stick it on a motor and see what happens all righty back my assumption was the only thing wrong with the battery pack was the bat was the uh, I may have to redo this segment. Oh, it works. Must be that one. <laughs> so let's see. If I uh, put this on re rewind, yeah. Rewind works, and when you go off to on, it spins that, but I don't have the camera to trigger it. 